Dipdale Secondary School has had slight improvements with its metric pass rate. The school, situated in Dipkloof, has, has had to contend with uh, a number of social issues, such as gangsterism and violence. They've had rotational learning as well, which we now know has had a negative impact on the learning and teaching. But have they managed to welcome back all the learners this morning? Our reporter, Tehoacho Moache, is doing the rounds, checking the progress at the schools as they take their pupils uh, in their numbers. Teho, good morning to you. So you've moved from one school to another. This particular one, how are they dealing with the issues of overcrowding that we have heard being spoken about uh, in the past but also this school has had to grapple with issues such as gangsterism Absolutely, Koli. This is one of the schools where the principal has had to deal with a lot of social issues that actually come from within the area. And um, he's really just tried, you know, his best to ensure that the learners are safer at schools and that there isn't much violence that actually takes place in the school. And as you said there in that intro, that there has been an improvement in the matric pass rate. But let's get more details from him about what they have done for this particular morning with the learners today. I'm joined by Johannes Munatisi. He is the principal here. Thank you so much for your time, principal. Now, let's start off with, have you welcomed back all your learners this morning? Good morning. Good morning, Seho and the viewers. Um, my name is, is Mr. Munatisi Johannes, the principal of Deepdale Secondary School. We haven't um, received all the learners back to school um, reason because we have got you know huge challenges um, for instance the school has grown up in terms of the learner enrollment um, from last year till to date last year we had 720 learners and this year we are having 1264 learners you can just um, um, imagine that it's a huge it's a huge uh, increment of you know, learner enrollment. And therefore, because of that learner um, 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 increment, um, we are running in short of the finisher, um, particularly the chairs and the tables, as well as the classrooms. Um, we don't have enough to accommodate all the learners. And even if you can go to the classes practically, you can see some of the learners are learning, you know, um, standing. And you can just imagine that that is not the right um, 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 thing to have because that can have a negative impact on the teaching and learning. Mm -hmm. So, um, so far, um, learners haven't yet returned back all of them. We are still rotating until we, we get, you know, the finisher. So I also understand that you are having a vaccination drive today. We know that learners between, or children between 12 and 18 can now get their vaccination. Tell us a bit more about that. Yes, um, since in the morning, um, kids and the parents are flocking in, but this is specifically for the kids. And um, vaccination will be, um, will be um, going on from today until Friday for all the grades and we have also encouraged them the parents to accompany their learners with those consent forms and even you know uh, parents that are willing to vaccinate we don't turn them back we are also then allowing back i'm sorry allowing them here and the learners are coming in numbers to vaccinate and we're happy about you know the turnout principal i do know that you know you've had issues of um having to deal with some of the social issues around this area of violence and possibly gangsterism as well. How have you dealt with that um, in the past couple of years, specifically with the rotational learning? I am telling you, let me thank, um, you know, the teachers, because all the teachers took it upon themselves to say, we deal with these social ills, be it visit doing the home visit, to those learners who were problematic, those learners who were involved in, you know, drug abuse. You know, we dealt with those uh, social ills, and even those learners who are staying alone at home, and even those who are doing gangsterism, we called the parents, and I want to um, 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 appreciate the parent involvement of this community. Really, when Deep Dale is calling them, they're coming in numbers and they're responding positively to deal with, you know, those social uh, ills. But,
over and above, even the stakeholders, the SGBs and the SATO, I'm sorry, the um, union formations, and um, they're also coming on board, and also other stakeholders, Busanka, and even the social workers that are coming in to help us um, around those social ills. And I'm happy to announce to you to say, you know, we have, imp you know, kids have improved. We are no longer experiencing that in a large number. You know, there is a huge improvement. That is why even the learner performance from grade 8 to grade 12 in this school has improved. Mm. Tell us a bit about that improvement very briefly for me. Um, grade 12, we have improved by 5.2% and we are the most improved school um, around here, Soweto and the community of Deep Loof. And um, really, that to us is a success because uh, we were targeting 100%, but we are still at the 80s, 80.2, and of which we are not happy. We need to improve the results until we reach um, or we obtain 100% as our target. And not only 100% of certificates, 100% with more distinctions, you know, quality. This is what we are envisaging. But even those results that um, are coming from 80.2 are still satisfying, you know, because I'm, then I'm satisfied as, a, you know, you know, as the principal because we got 38 um, bachelors, we got 28 diplomas, and we got 15 um, certificates. And you can see that we are talking about quality as well, but we want to improve more so that the child in a township like this really can turn out, can change, you know, the future. All right, thank you so much, Johannes Munakisi. He's the principal of Deepdale Secondary School. And as you heard there, Koli, they are really working hard to improve the quality of the results that they come out from this particular school. But he's also spoken and reiterated the need for the community as a whole to work together to, in, to help the child, especially those that might find themselves on the left side, on the, on the wrong side of the law, or might actually be involved in gangsterism themselves. So he's really just reiterated the need that education really is a societal matter. And although they haven't been able to return all their learners back this morning, the rotational learning still continues here. Thank you very much for that update.